Hello, hello, welcome back to more. Let's play Diablo 3 Beta with a Barbarian. We need to talk to Leah, and we need to go find Decker Kane. so let's do it! Last time we cleared through Tristram, and we had some fun. Got some, uh, got Cleave, we got Hammer of the Ancients now, got some lag as we try and go through. Let's go. Now this guy we're going to be going up here and fighting. If you watch my Witch Doctor playthrough, is there anything up here? Ooh, money. The guy we're going to be fighting up here under Adria's hut, if you watch the other one, spoiler alert, we're fighting somebody. He actually has some new abilities, apparently, so... Let's do it. Oop, nothing over there. So let's see what this guy can do. Apparently he can summon frost orbs or something. Let's take care of his minions first. Oh, yep, 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 he's got something he's doing. Okay, oh, that wasn't too exciting. Oh, well. Alright, so we got a blue sash. Well, it's better than nothing, I guess. Oh, no treasure chest this time. Thanks. I don't need those shoes. I like her voice. It's certainly not the voice from the first game, though. Sure thing, chick. Yeah, it's certainly got a different voice actor. I don't blame him. I mean, in the first game, she sounded like an old crone. Which is kind of what she was supposed to be, but... Well, you know... Plot dictated, she appear younger now and have a better voice. Who are you going to argue with plot? Anyway, we're up at the cathedral. Yeah, from the original game. I like it that we get to go here. Usually, yep, sometimes there's a chest up here. Maybe that hand axe is better. Nope. I have a lot of hand axes. Apparently you can now buy rings in the beta if you're high enough leveled. Because you can't... I don't think you could ever get them to drop in the beta. Well, I take that back. You might have been able to in the Den of the Fallen. It's a side area that's pretty hard to get. You don't usually run into it. And yeah, the cathedral has changed a little bit. But... New to Diablo 3, if you're watching for the first time, you can now use the terrain to help out. And we got a new skill unlocked. Defensive one. The first one we start out with is Ground Stop, and it generates Fury, which is nice. And it's actually pretty decent, too. Stuns all enemies. I don't think it does any damage, though. Who the heck is Akarat? Oh, you're dead, dude. Oh, hey, you had seven gold. And usually when you come to these windows... Okay. I was going to say, usually when you go to the windows, some enemies come out, but apparently not today. Ah, here we go. This is a good place to show it off. Oh, a little lag there. That was fun. Ah, that's so satisfying. Ah, nuts. Yeah, sometimes you don't get the right ones, though. I would like to get a two-hander. Probably don't have. No, I do have some money. I could probably buy one, but I can't go to town right now. I don't have a way to get there. Oh, they're dead. Where's the thing at? Okay, there's a new enemy. Now let's watch this. Let's kill him. Okay, and get out of the way, and boom, kills his allies. 
Oh, here we have a treasure goblin over there. See, that's a really good strategy if you're running into multiple ones of those. Kill one, cause a chain reaction. Now this treasure goblin, or pygmy, you want to kill them quick so you can get their loot that they drop. Oh, he's immune to stuns. I guess I got him stuck. Oh, that was easy. Well, hey, give me that sword. Aww. Why do you have to suck? And short bow of wounding. Just my luck. Find a blue sword and it's crap. Alright, let's keep moving on. Now, if I'd leap, I could just leap down there right onto them. Guess I could actually use some of my fury. Get him! Yeah! Ah, Cleave is so much fun. Hammer of the Ancients is, is okay, too. You can get some runes that will modify it. Which, oh, I haven't really gotten runes yet on this playthrough. So, technically you might not know what runes are. Well, anyway, at certain levels you can get runes that unlock on your skills, and they modify how your skills work, usually in a decent way, like a pretty uh, substantial way. You always want to use runes, there's no point in not using them, because there's always just a clear upgrade. And I think the first one you get at like level 5 or something like that. So we'll get one. Soon enough, we're level 4. And the uh, attribute system and everything is quite updated. You can get... Look at all those details that you can look at. Holy crap. It's crazy. I don't want your simple daggers. Alright, we made it to Laorx's Passage. Oh, hey. Come here, you. What are you doing now? Now move... Okay, now, if this is multiplayer, when I clicked on here, we would get a uh, confirmation that we wanted to start this, because this is considered a boss encounter. It's Kane! Ho ho! I could skip this, but I don't want to. Fight, Kane, fight! So now, we gotta save Kane! Yeah, it's not that hard at all. We got you, buddy. And we got the boss, Head Cleaver. Easy enough. Venturing buckler, huh? Well, better one I have now. That's easy enough. Yep. Now, I'll let him talk for a second. Is there a chest up here? Nope. Now, when you when they first made Diablo three, 
they plan the barbar uh, barbarian the barbarian to actually be the original barbarian from Diablo 2 but they changed that because you're gonna learn stuff in the game that about like Diablo 2 and it'd be weird for the barbarian to be relearning stuff that he like went through plus they would have to have new dialogue options and all that stuff simply because you played a male barbarian so they got rid of that do you have a two-hander no you don't you suck do I need to repair no usually you don't need to repair for a while but as you can see selling stuff gets you cramped for gold making money in this game is all about drops and auction house and I don't want to sell these blue items because I want to use them for my artisan when we get access to him hey uh, hey level five basically here's what we need to do we gotta kill the skeleton king and we need to figure out we need to get his crown but we got a new skill we got rend basically any enemy that's nearby you takes 210 percent weapon damage over three seconds almost like in uh... in wow it's not too bad I'll give it a shot show it off we got another merchant potions armor I'm not worried about and Hadrig and so we gotta go kill his wife and all the other undead that are underground uh, Bo. hey you can buy rings from here wow well, that's not too bad, but I don't have the money. Well, that's kind of nice. No two-handed swords or anything, though. Yeah, you used to not be able to buy um, rings or anything. All right. Oh, they turned already. So, rend. Boom, close. So, not it's not too bad. I don't like it a whole lot, but I think some of the runes are kind of nice for it. It's certainly a more AOE type ability. But when you're running with Cleave, you already have kind of an AOE ability, so it's kind of like, eh. Alright, let's kill her. Oh yeah, I have ground stomp. Forgot about that. Stuns are quite good in Diablo 3. They actually work on bosses, like, all the time. Now, you can't really tell if you have a dot on an enemy, which is kind of unfortunate, but... Saber of Flame, huh? Alright. Oh, crap, look at that damage. Wow. Well, I would like to show off a two-hander if I ever get one. Alright, so next time on Let's Play Diablo 3, we're going to head through the Northwest Gate. And maybe if I get lucky, I'll find the Den of the Fallen. It's where you can find it. Thanks for viewing, and hopefully I'll catch you guys next time.